Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. Well, we already have a dense fog advisory in effect across all of Acadiana through 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I expect visibilities to be reduced to around a quarter of a mile or less, especially if you're in a fog prone area. So just keep that in mind if you're heading out for that early morning commute tomorrow morning. And of course, always use extra caution in school zones as well. And then once we hit mid morning, that fog will start to lift out of here. All right, here's a quick look at the upper level pattern. We got troughing off to our east, so that's keeping us in a pretty nice dry flow aloft. Now, ridge of high pressure is going to start building in aloft over the next couple of days, so that's going to keep us dry, but also on the warm side, temperatures running well above normal here. Uh, over the next couple of days and through the course of the weekend, especially for early December standards. So here's the latest graph model just coming in uh, right before the show. High pressure at the surface building in close to the area tonight. So again, that's going to give us a good chance to see some fog into tomorrow morning and then that fog again lifting out of here by mid morning and then back to mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies throughout our Thursday. So it should be another nice day, but again, mild to middle to upper 70s. By the afternoon, 77 to 78 degrees for the projected high temperature. And then similar story going into Thursday night, Friday morning. Fog likely first thing in the morning. And then I think we'll see more clouds across the area on Friday. Temperatures, though, still able to top out in the middle 70s by the afternoon. We'll stay dry. And then uh, staying relatively mild here through the course of the weekend. Rain chances not overly high. They'll stay isolated at around 20% or so, but no better both Saturday going into Sunday as well. And then maybe a few isolated light showers possible late in the day on Sunday. Maybe better rain chances going into Sunday night, Monday morning as a frontal boundary tries to push through the area. So that should give us a chance to see some scattered showers. Monday could be one of those days where we hit our high temperature in the morning and then we kind of see readings falling through the course of the afternoon. Kind of chilly there Tuesday morning, but again, more changeable weather weather pattern through much of next week. So temperatures rebounding right back up into the lower and middle 70s by Tuesday afternoon and then perhaps another front going into Wednesday morning with the chance to see uh, some scattered showers and then another little disturbance coming out of the southwest going into Thursday that could set up a heavy rainfall threat across portions of the state right now model still kind of zoning in on Sinla on northward for some of the heaviest of the rain axis. So we'll see how that plays out. But bottom line, after a pretty quiet stretch of weather this week, we'll look to turn a bit more unsettled into next week. Temperature wise tonight again, lower to middle 50s for an overnight low. Nice warm up tomorrow afternoon, middle to upper 70s, and then we'll hold in the middle 50s or so Friday morning. And then again, right back up into the middle 70s Friday afternoon with more of a mostly cloudy sky in place. Models have been on it again, showing the fog developing first thing tomorrow morning, dense across most areas. So again, just keep that in mind and into consideration for your early morning commute. Fog lifts out of here by mid morning, but then we'll redevelop late Thursday night and then going into Friday morning as well. So cool night ahead, lower to middle 50s for an overnight load that fog settling in a little bit later on tonight. And then for our Thursday, another pretty nice day out there. Warm for the time of year, upper 70s for a high temperature. Light winds only at around three to six miles per hour with high pressure and control staying mild through the rest of the week into the weekend. Temperatures well above normal, especially for high temperatures. And then again, slightly better rain chances in the, into next week as the pattern turns a little bit more unsettled.